What's up guys? It's King Daddy DMac and welcome. Welcome back to another episode of Miggity Mod Sauce. That's right, that's right. How's everybody doing? Everybody doing good? I'm doing pretty good today. I want to apologize to you guys that it's been so long. It's been about a week, I think, since our last episode. Most of you probably remember why. Because we talked about it in the last episode. As most of you know, I was on vacation. I was going on a trip with my girlfriend, and I was proposing to her. She said yes. I did reveal that already on both Twitter and in ARC videos. But I'm letting you know here. She said yes. I'm engaged. I'm super duper excited. Super happy. It's awesome. I'm really glad she didn't say no. But thanks to you guys giving me all those tips and tricks on how to propose. It was kind of scary. It was kind of scary, even, even though I know she was going to say yes. But it was, yeah, it was, it's memories now, in the past, in any case, let's get back to work. We got a lot to do, a lot to do since we've been slacking, and I'm super rejuvenated, super pumped to get going, lots of different stuff. Last episode, we did get the angel wings, so that we have the super cool flight from Extra Utilities, very nice, makes it a lot easier for us, since uh, Batania did get the nerf. The Flugel deer. I'm so sad, so sad. We'll see. We'll revisit if we can use that. In any case, I don't think we're going to be doing Batania today. I think we're mostly going to be doing tech. I really need to advance in those areas. We'll talk about that in a second. I got a couple little gifts. Congratulations, DMAC from Joe Tato. And he gave us a cake. Super cool. Thank you, Joe. Such a good guy, Joe, if you don't know. Joe is the guy that does our mod pack. He's also the mod author of Practicalities, of Quantum Flux. It's super cool, and I got my super special cake, so I'm happy about that. Happy about that. Any other gifts since we've been gone? Oh, who is this? Who is this? George. George. I think this is from the uh, Necromancy mod. Look at this. You can construct your own mods, or mobs. It's so crazy. What the heck is he? The skeleton head. I'm guessing that's like a villager body, but I don't even know. Spider arms. Little wool nubs what are you george i obey only xb crafted what you crazy bro you crazy so he's just hanging out he doesn't really do anything he doesn't attack me so i'm happy about that he can be our little friend it's cool it's cool one thing i forgot to do while we we're gone i was so excited to get back and see if our uh terror shatter was finished it would have been in ss mode and i'm so sad because look at I think it's in, is it in here? No, it's in, it's in here. We forgot to leave it in, so it's not SS yet. That's okay. I'm willing to bet by the end of the week will be SS. Oh, I was so mad though. I was so pumped about that. But hey, you can't have everything. Um, Today I've been on for a couple hours already, and I've been kind of prepping some tech stuff, improving some stuff. I did make a ton more of these Ex-Nilaho um, Crucibles. And I got to learn a little bit more about them as far as where you can pump in and out. And I tried, I was originally going to try and do two rows, like a row here and then a row here. And then have the extra utilities transfer pipe go in between them and connect to both of them on the side. So I could reduce the number of wires and stuff. But unfortunately, that doesn't seem to work. They don't seem to do all the different operations. Like if I take this here and I connected it there. It doesn't seem to want to push, pull, and do all those things, yeah. So, unfortunately, it looks like from the top it will do all that stuff. Oh, nuts! It will do all that stuff from the top. Why is this being weird? Okay, I got a shift there. Maybe I could have set that in like that. Let's knock that back out. Let's put the glass. That's why I can't set anything down. You have to shift and do it. Anyway, not important, not important. But just wanted to let you know. You can do everything from the top. Oh, nuts. <laughs> why is you do this to me? All right, all set. So anyway, we have the lines here. Now, I really should just have one line going and then zigzagging to all of them. That would be the best way to do it. But I have it split right here. So it cuts a little bit on the efficiency. But that's okay for now, it is keeping up. So that's cool. I've more than doubled the number of crucibles. Again, what the crucibles are doing is they're taking the cobblestone, bam, 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 cobblestone generator, 
putting the cobblestone in there and then because of the heat source which we still need to upgrade our heat source but anyway with the heat source we're able to turn that cobblestone into lava then pump out that lava i added in today a bunch more lava drums four more actually we just had one there before just for extra bulk storage of lava and we need to start using it soon we are getting close to filling all the drums in any case yeah a bunch of rigmarole going and eventually it goes into this lava generator which i think we do we do that last episode is your last episode or episode before but got that going for power this is all of our power right now we need to up this today we got a couple of things prepped so that we could and then the rest is going to our extreme furnace so very cool i gotta i want to redo this area back here and then we also recently did sag mill alloy smelter pulverizer and redstone furnace and then we also added in the igneous extruder to make a whole bunch of obsidian which is pretty cool just from lava and water so i like that now today i'd like to get these automated because we don't have them automated yet and um yeah i've just been manually pushing them in pulling them out and that's getting a little tedious so we need to automate it so that we can fix it all up make things faster better stronger yes that's what modded is about in any case i wanted to point out right here we got in the alloy smelter redstone i'm getting some silicon right now another great way to do that is with clay but that's important because we need the silicon and i want to get some better like energy storage because we don't really have energy storage yet so to do that i'm trying to craft up let's see if we can see it i think i'm going to go with capacitor banks just because you get pretty good bang for your buck and i'm going right away to the king daddy of them the vibrant capacitor which holds what's that 25 million rf so that's pretty cool i think we should be able to craft up three of them today i've been making tons of these autotic capacitors which is just a whole bunch of crazy crafting and materials and stuff i should have it all set up right here i already have all the autotics that took me like an hour to do manually we had to get a couple more vibrant crystals no problem just emerald and that good old stuff and then i need to put electrical steel this is all ender io electrical steel now that electrical steel is what we're going to be using this silicon for that was just showing you i got with the redstone so pretty cool that should work i already have a tad of capacitors this is how you get the machines to have kind of like speed upgrades and then also energy upgrades internal storage within so just getting those crafted up and i suppose we can get our first one done on camera as soon as this finishes with four of them bam sweet electrical steel four and let's go ahead put those in there bam 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 nice our first vibrant capacitor bank sweet so where do we want to hook you up buddy let's just set it down right there bam we can see it's filling up with power on the power wow that's decent in rf for tick i think i can also shift right click there we go in sweet just from that little tiny generator not bad not bad not bad cool so i'm gonna work on automating these i'm gonna do most of that off cam and today i really i want to get into a doing a quarry so let's get things set up i'd like to do probably the ender quarry is my usually usual go-to um i think maybe last episode a lot of people are asking this is required for the craft so we're going to do it anyway people are asking how you get magical wood this apparently we learned with tankers gives you extra modifiers more so than paper so basically to do that you just put any type of enchanted book in there what's kind of interesting is these are all ones that i got using level 30 enchants if you just used level like one enchants they would only give you one piece of magical wood and you'd be wasting a lot of gold and bookshelves and stuff like that so you want to i like to put in as high as i can go just to get the most bang for my buck gold is early game modded is very important so you want to try and not waste any but anyway bunch of magical wood next we're going to need in the craft is our ender cores which this has a lot of other uses but is required in making the quarry so ender cores magical wood ender infused obsidian which i think i have set up right here obsidian and ender pearls let's get a whole bunch of that stuff super cool and then we also need a diamond etched computational matrix which is crazy burnt quartz which is just normal block quartz 
smelted and four diamonds. Grab that too. And let's go ahead and so I just showed you how to make that. Let's go ahead and grab those. Sweet. And then is there more stuff over here I had to craft? Oh yes, 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 yes. And two endothermic pumps. More of that of ender-infused obsidian. The rest you can probably tell just by looking. We need two of these. Oh, that's handy. You let me keep the buckets. And do these stack? Yes, they do. Sweet. So we need two of those in the quarry as well. So, thus far, ender-infused obsidian. Diamond computational, diamond etched com computational matrix and two ender cores and then in the corners are the two endothermic pumps sweet and we have our ender quarry very very nice so ender quarry it's my favorite quarry does so many different things if we get to actually installing it today which i hope to i'll show you how that works and what it does and all the why it's so great um other things that i want to make i want to make a silk touch quarry upgrade for it so pretty neat. I had to make this guy up in the QED, which is just more of that obsidian stuff and another piece of burnt quartz all done up. And then a golden axe that has silk touch one. It has other enchantments that is okay. It just doesn't do anything. Bam, got it. All right, so I think that's everything. Sweet, and I wanna make up some more of these capacitor banks so we have for energy storage. And I think that'll be cool. All right, guys, I crafted up three more vibrant capacitor banks, so we have an even four, which is pretty sweet. I'm not gonna set them in yet because we're about to move a lot of things. This is the last expansion that I'm gonna allow myself to do here over in the spawn town, just because it's getting a little nuts on FPS here, and it's not always good. So this is temporary, but I think we're gonna need this for moving on to the quarry before we hunt out for a new base. Um, I'm going to rip out all these cauldrons. I'm going to make them a little bit better all in a row. Probably back here, and this will be a more expanded tech room. We do need more space. And that way we can just leave this all over here to be Batania things. I want to fix up my storage. This looks kind of booty, and I'd rather not have it there. So we'll probably make it against that wall over there. Um, I did want to point out, let's just grab all these guys before I start to do processing. The nether quartz, this has been a little problematic in this pack. I mean, it's been like this in a lot of packs, but anyway, the whole deal with nether quartz. So right now we have nothing in there. We throw a single one in there. We only get one out, cool. If we do it through the pulverizer, bam, we should get two, I believe. Bam, two. But probably one of the best ways, at least yet, that we can do it, if we do it into the sag mill, check this out. We get four, so that's probably the best way for us to do it. And you cannot fortune, unfortunately, nether quartz in this mod pack. But a lot of mod packs are like that. I'm really curious, guys. Let me know what mod does that, because that's like a vanilla thing, and it's kind of annoying. Anyway, um, I'm once those are done, I'm going to rip all this stuff out and get it laid in. Just wanted to show you a little bit of the progress, and hopefully it should be complete when we come back. All right, we're back. We're back several hours later. Oh my goodness. I accomplished a lot. I'll show you in a second. Let's just clear this out. Use our cool little, what is it? Wand, rod of the shifting crust. Bam. Yeah, I arranged this so that I'd be able to use it to clear out for all of our, um, all of our Batania stone. What's it called? Living rock. How do I forget that? But yeah, it's super easy to replace it all right now. So cool. And we needed tons of this because look at this room. Look at it. It's gargantuan. I really shouldn't be building this big. But anyway, let's see what we got done. So I've got storage with the storage drawers. Pretty cool. We have our controller right here, and it goes exactly from, from the controller all the way to there and then all the way up. That's exactly 15 blocks, which is the maximum. I asked you guys to check that out for me, and that's what was concluded. Um, I did the emerald upgrades on them. Not on all of them. We don't have enough. I'm out of emeralds at the moment except for right here. In fact, you know what? Let's grab one just so that we can get an emerald going on in our little thing of thing. Fortune, bam. And bam, sweet, awesome. So yeah, um, not a whole heck of a lot. We only have 10 emerald ores left, but yeah, I'm gonna be 
trying to get more and we can upgrade them all. And all that's doing is adding storage. Do we have, let's see, drawers. Okay, so Emerald Upgrade, that's the top upgrade. So 13 times the base value, so pretty cool. And it's really neat about these storage drawers is that you don't have to do the previous upgrades. You can just go straight to the Emerald, which is amazing, because look at that. That's how much a diamond one does, and it only does eight times. Come on now, who would do that? In any case, we have just about every ore going on, every ingot, pretty much everything, so that we can get the core going. Even got some mob drops in there. But I think that should be good. We'll find out what we're missing. Now, I also made two more of these insane, insane chests that look like this to help us out with the quarry. So this shouldn't be a problem. We're not doing like a crazy speed quarry as of yet. So we don't have the power to do that. But um, yeah, let's take a look at what we did. So I set that all up. That's all ready to go. Um, I made even more of these uh, crucibles and now I have it going off of the cobblestone gen. Bam. And then it goes and it both puts cobblestone in and pulls the lava out. So pretty cool. So all that's going. So all the cobblestone's getting put in. Then the lava is on the retrieval node. Just like before. It goes into this barrel. Sweet. And then I can switch that over to a normal transfer node. Which then goes over and then distributes amongst all these lava things here. Now, currently, since we only have one generator, I'm using a retrieval node for lava there. It's filling into the generator suite. We'll have to switch that setup once we have more generators. But in any case, going into there, going into the transfer node for energy, and that's getting sent over and up to our vibrant capacitor bank, which, as you can see, is getting filled up. Super sweet. And why don't we get a couple more of these added in? I believe I have three more. I think that's what that says. Let's get those added in. Bam, bam. Oh, I guess I only had two more. Dang it, I thought I had three more. Didn't it look like a three? Looked like a three to me. Anyway, dang it. I wanted to have more. But this will eventually be all filled up with vibrant capacitor banks as we get more materials. That's fine. That's good enough for now. We've got our input. Let's go ahead, switch now on an output. I guess right here for now. Input, switch to output. We're then gonna put another transfer node node right there. And then this is gonna get swung up and around so that we can have all of our machines get power. And then this is gonna be our machine wall for all the different stuff we need and then with the extra room, maybe we'll do like extra storage or something like that. So let's get all these machines moved over. And I'm probably going to do a separate section for like each type of machine. I think all of our upgrades should just stay in them, which is cool. This guy doesn't require power, so it's going to stay over there here for now. This That's the uh, whole obsidian maker. Sweet. Do we have any more of that cobblestone stuff? Does not look like it. So I'll fix that up later. In any case, very cool. Um, I'm going to have each machine on their own for now. And then we'll change that as, as it's necessary. So maybe go for now, like right. Oh, I don't know what I want to do. I guess right like this for now. So bam, bam. And then, should we do a little wall in between? Something like that. And then we can have these push into a chest of some sort. So bam, bam. Bam, bam. So there's our Ender IO stuff. Then, should we make this two? Or should we just go straight into the other? Okay, good enough. I'll fix it up later as needed. Then we have pulverizer, bam. And then we have the redstone furnace. Bam. Sweet. So that's all the stuff there. Um, I think I'm going to put, how do I want to do this? The other guy, which is going to require lava. I'll figure that out. How I want to get that in but this is good enough for now for these cool let's bring this down to split it up nice 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 
And then the power is just going to go along the back. Let's see. Probably like so. Wham. Wham, wham, wham. And these should all be getting power now. And they're all full at the moment. So why don't we test something out with something we can cook up. What uh, could we cook up? Hmm. Grab a gold. And we'll throw the gold. Oh, that's cool how it keeps all the inventory. So if I throw the gold in there, you can see it went down, went back up. Sweet. All perfect. Very, very nice. All right. So I'm going to purdy this up just a tad more. Let's get this handled over on this side. Let me see. Do I have a slot for this yet? Yes, I do. Just put that in there. All right, so here's how the Cory thing's going to go. We'll have this chest. We'll have the white chest. Maybe that hides in a little better. Not really, but we'll have to do. So we just got to pump, as you remember, with the drawer controller, we can just pump our Cory stuff directly into it. I shall show you. Don't you worry. I got it all under control. This is why I'm messed up. We need to go ahead and get our ender chest. So bam, eight new ender chests. So let's take two of these and program them. Let's get two diamonds. Thank you, thank you. Wham, wham. And then let's get, just because it's right here, lapis. One, two, three, four. We'll go like the U, Ju, U, U. Awesome. So this is our private signal, King Daddy DMAC Ender Chest, and that is going to be our quarry signal. All right, so let's try this out. If we went right there. And what's cool about the Ender Chest, they can open when there's something above them. Very nice. We are then going to take a transfer node. We're going to go like that. Oh, nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. I don't know if we can arrange this. Actually, that's probably fine because it probably won't. Oh, okay. This may be even better. We'll go like that, go like that. Awesome. So now everything that goes into this chest from the quarry is going to go into this first compact chest, which as you can see is humongoid. So it gives us lots of buffer room. Now let's run around back. Let's knock you out. Then from this compact chest, it's going to go through another transfer node. And then it's going to go down to our drawer controller. So we'll first try and fill up if there's a spot to go in a drawer. And if there is not a spot in a drawer, it will then go into that chest down below. And then we can see what things we need to add future drawers for in the next chest. Awesome. So things we're going to want to add, we're going to want to add stack at a time. And over here. Stack at a time, we're gonna want tons of speed upgrades as well, which I'm not sure if I have enough of. So I think that's gonna have to be the next thing that we invest in is more speed upgrades. But we got the stack upgrades, so that actually may even be cool for now. We'll try it out, we'll see what happens. So let's actually test this. How can we test this? Let's choose something that we already have in here. Let's maybe do the bones. So let's grab out, that should be good enough. So there's 42 bones in there. Okay, so if over on this side, we have the quarry and it pumps into it. So where are the bones, we go wham. Oh, pressing the wrong button. Bam, bam. We should see them go back into here. 234, awesome. So, let's grab, where's our shifting crust? It should be running now. Gotta remember to keep on doing this. Something that we probably should automate, but good enough. I like doing it like that. Okay, so now another thing that I'd like to do is make up another bag as well, which now since we have all this storage, when we're, I'm on the go mining, I can just throw stuff into that new ender bag. So why don't we make one? One more, one more. Thank you. Teeny thing, assembly halo, wham. Ender pouch. 
a wham, wham, and where's the ender chest right here? All right, awesome. So now I should be able to on the go, go like that, and it goes right back in. Sweet. So now comes the quarry. I think we're about set. I'll worry about those later, but we have a spot for them. They do have power. That's what's important. So, so, so. Let's go up to our QED. Last thing we need is to make ender markers, which is just like a so. So that's gonna get made up and that we need for the quarry. And once they're finished, why don't we do, maybe we could do a quick test here before I take it elsewhere. Cause we gotta find a way to do possibly wireless power. So I'll be right back. All right, our markers have finished. Super sweet, so we're all set quarry side. We just need to figure out how we're gonna send over power and we need to produce more power. But for today, I'm gonna worry about how to send the power over. Cause we don't wanna have to be stuck corn in the overworld. We wanna be able to go over into the quarry, the quarry world, the quarry area. So how are we gonna do that? I think we're gonna do it via Tesseract. So to make a Tesseract, what are we gonna have to do? First things first, let's go ahead and let's grab a stack of redstone. Hopefully that'll be enough. And I believe in the pulverizer, let's start to get this going. We should get, I believe a 25% chance of getting cinnabar. There we go, we already got one cinnabar, not bad. So let's let that go for a little bit. Now the cinnabar is gonna be used in an induction smelter, which we haven't crafted yet. We're gonna craft. What can we show? There we go. Is this it? No. With a ferris ore and a cinnabar, you get 100% shiny ingot, which is required for the Tesseract. Let's see why. It's to get the enderium. Actually, there are other ways of getting enderium too. But we could do this with the pyruthium in the induction smelter and get it. What are the other ways? Or we could go and get this enderium base stuff which that takes a little while to do. So we'll see, Um, let's see, what does that require? That requires a shiny as well. So either way, we're stuck getting shiny, so that's fine. So I'm gonna get working on an induction smelter. Do we see it right here? And this is what we needed invar for, which we, is the reason we got the whole sag mill going. So to get invar, we needed iron dust, here we go. I found the dust, two iron, one nickel or ferrous. So we got a whole bunch of iron that got done up and then a whole bunch of ferrous done up. Bam, whole bunch of invar, super sweet. All right, we should have everything. I set up an output chest. So things will at least get pulled out of the machines. That's good enough, that's good enough for today. So let's go ahead, let's make the induction smelter. And wham, got it, sweet. And that bad boy should be able to fit just right here. We're gonna set it so that it pulls everything out right there. Lock flux slot. I, I keep forgetting what that does, but anyway. I think it just has to do with its own type of wires. So we should see this get power. We should, we should. There we go, nice. Okay, so everything's good in the world. Now, what are we gonna need? What are we gonna need? So, the cinnabar we're using with Ferris. So let's go ahead, we have 10, you know, let's grab a whole stack. And let's go like that, and like that. And this should give us the guaranteed shiny. See what happens. Can it work, bro? All right, we're getting the shinies there, so that's cool. And hopefully it will pull out. We'll see momentarily. I think this is filled up with redstone. Oh, what are you doing, bro? All right, well, it will figure itself out. All right, so we got the shiny part of it. Let's go back to Tesseract. Wham, 
Wham, wham. Nice. All right. Whole bunch of pyrothium. How are you doing, bro? Nice. And you can see we already got 10 shinies. That should be more than enough. And yeah, it's in here. So wham, wham, wham. All right. And then this is going to go in again with the pyrothium and ender pearls. So bam, ender pearls and that. And that will give us our endurium ingots. Sweet. So I'm going to get this handled and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're good to go, good to go. We should, we have enough for two Tesseract frames. So we should be able to just do that, but we need this either Hardened Glass or Fused Quartz. Now, Fused Quartz, we just take Quartz and put it into an Alloy Smelter. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see, so we need, we'll get a stack. Alloy Smelter, how are you doing, bro? All right, let's empty these out for now. And let's get that into the alloy smelter. Fuse quartz, that's what we want, right? All right, so let that go. We'll actually take out a bunch. All right, cool. Let's throw these extras in here. Sweet. All right, we just need boom, boom. Eight, okay, finally, we can do it. Tesseract frame, wham, one, two, sweet. Now we gotta fill it. So how do we fill it? We gotta either do it with resident ender, which is kind of a pain, or it looks like we can do this in a casting basin. So I think I may try that way. So let's run on up and see what's going on. Hopefully this isn't bugged. I can recall a long time ago Hypno trying to do this, I think, and I think it wasn't working, but we'll see. All right, so we got this guy. What's going on in you? Looks like we do have Resonant Ender in there. So let's click Resonant Molten Enderium Resonant Ender. All right, we'll see what it ends up making. And this looked kind of weird. Casting Basin. All right, that goes in there. That's good, at least. Let's get more Ender Pearls going on in here. We need quite a bit. And wham. Oh, man, it only does one at a time. That's horrible. That really sucks. But we'll be okay. So I'm going to come back once it's time to pour it. All right, looks like it's about that time. I think we only need a thousand mil buckets to fill the Tesseract and we've got 11,000, over 11,000. So let's go ahead, let's do it. Bam, and it's definitely doing the resonant ender. Please work. Is that it? That looks like it's it. Oh, how long is it going to take to... Okay, okay. Nice! Sweet. All right, so there's one more step that we have to do, which isn't that hard. And then we also should probably lock it. Where's the locking thing? All right, so I'll have to make that as well. Sweet, but we should be good. Let's just check. Yep, got plenty. Nice. This is, this is very nice. Awesome. So what are we going to have to do to to lock it again. All right, so to make this redstone, silver, copper, no problem. I'm gonna get it all made up and we'll be right back. All right, making up some bronze, three copper, one tin, no biggie, no biggie. Let's go ahead and let's get this frame done. 
I'm using the bronze. I'm not sure what bronze it is. Bam, bam, doesn't really matter. All right, silver. Bam, 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 bam. Man, Tesseracts, what a pain. All right, so we got two. They're not going to stack now because they're actually working. But by doing this here, it locks it so that nobody else on the server can use it. So we need two more bronze around like that. Which, wham, one, two. And bam. All right, now we got power. Now this kind of changes things. I didn't expect to do this, but I think now we could actually directly output. Oh, we need this for power though, not items. All right, we're gonna still do it with ender chest. This is just meant for the power for today. So let's set up stuff. And of course, um, let's make it private. Bam, configuration, nothing to do with items, nothing to do with fluid, just energy, send only. Okay, and we'll have this be one. DMAC power. Save frequency, check, awesome. So we got that one done, that's gonna be our receiving one. Bam, DMAC power, check, block, block, receive energy only. Awesome. Oh, and we got to do that little thing to jigger. Awesome. All right, so this guy's going to be pooping out power. Have it go right like this. Input, output power. Awesome. And I made a little crescent hammer thing, which I don't think I shared with you guys. It's been around forever, so I'm sure you guys know how to make it. Bam, iron, and tin. Thermal expansions wrench. Wham, and a wham, awesome. We still doing okay? We're still doing positive. Now, of course, we didn't set up the core yet. So, we've got power for the quarry. We've got a place for the items to go for the quarry. Um, I was gonna portably send over the lava, but it's real and power it with generators there, but that's kind of pointless, to tell you the truth. So I'm going to go ahead and craft these anyway. Ender tanks, wham, and we'll save those for later if we need them. All right, so let's go. I think we have everything. Let's go play around with this now. Let's go let's sleep, and then let's go into the quarry world. I'm kind of excited. We're doing our first quarry. Wham. Hopefully nothing else has changed. All right, and this quarry chunk loads itself, so we shouldn't need a chunk loader. Let's just go out this way. It doesn't look like anybody's quarried out here. Let's first set down the ender markers. So let's see. Oh, what was the chunk? To F9? Yep, there we go. So we want to stay within the same chunk since it loads the chunk that it's in and then the chunk that it's mining. So I suppose we'll set up the quarry right here so let's go ahead and let's put that first marker right there let's go ahead and throw the second marker here and you can see they're lined up because they have that little sparklies we'll go to maybe like right here and they got to be at the same level dang you thing There, there, and that's marked up, not in this direction, so we'll move you. There we go. All right, that's all of them. Let's set down our quarry. Let's then throw down the chest right on top. This is going to send out the items. Let's throw down the silk touch, which that's our upgrade, so it will silk touch everything. And let's throw down our power. So, bam. All right, everything's a go. Let's right click it. Successful, establish boundaries. And now if I click again, 16 block scan. That means it's already done 16 blocks, 30, 43 blocks, 51. Awesome. So we can start to see stuff go through the ender chest. Perfect. 
look at that. We are set, guys. We are totally set. We've got a quarry going. What more could you ask for? I'm sure we don't have enough power being generated. But that I can work on next. We don't really need power generated for stuff when we are not smelting. We're not dependent on power. All right, and right now you can see, yeah, it's pulling out 500 RF a tick more than what we're making, which is fine. To do that, by the way, guys, I just shift right clicked. And if you wanna get the bigger screen, you just gotta do it like they're separate smaller screens and then they will attach if they're next to each other. So that's cool. So I gotta up up my Generation of power, we'll work on that come next episode. The main reason I wanted to have this bulk excess power was just so that I could let the quarry go in the background, and we really need more, mostly gold. So, so far there's been a slot for everything. If we actually look right here, look at that, you can see the stone go up. Isn't that the best? It's super cool. Anyway, I'm exhausted. This has been an all-day project for me already. But I'm happy. We got a quarry going. We got power. We got a storage room. I'm thinking things are coming together pretty well. Help me out. Hit that thumbs up. Help support the series we should see every other day. Episode. Every other day. At least every other day. From here on out. No more. No more crazy engagements. Vacations. Not for a long time. So, hope you enjoy. Help me out with any tips or tricks in the comments. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and peace out.